La 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 la. Today I'm going to teach you how to make an animated GIF like the image that you see here that I posted on Twitter last week. It's very simple to do in Photoshop. There was a step that I, um, I wasn't aware of that a friend of mine pointed out that made life a lot easier. I'm going to show you that. I'm also going to show you how to add text so that your GIFs could have text. And if you know what you're doing, this should only take about 10 minutes to make an animated GIF like this. So, first I shot 42 images of a wave approaching my feet in the sand. And I did this with a point-and-shoot camera. I just held down the shutter button so it kind of took a burst of images. And that's what I got. So, put all of your images in one folder on your desktop or wherever. Go open up Photoshop. Go to File and then select scripts and then click on load files into stack hit browse select all of your images hit OK, open and do not click attempt to automatically align source images because Photoshop will try to align all your images but in the process it will distort them so they'll look really weird and it'll take forever so don't click any of these just hit OK and what this is doing for us now is taking all 42 images and making uh, one document with 42 layers. And this is what I wasn't aware of. I used to ta open each image and copy and paste them into one document. And it took forever. Sometimes you'd accidentally copy and paste the same image, you know, twice. And then if you didn't put them in order, you know, this puts them all in a nice order for you and it does all the work for you and it makes it a lot easier and um, it's great I didn't know about it it's funny because you know as much as you think you know about Photoshop you're constantly discovering new shortcuts like this to make your life easier which is good but you know had I known about this a long time ago it would have been even better so here's our final um, document, and if you hide some of the layers, you can see we have all of them here. What you're going to click on next is Window, and then click on Animation. It's going to bring up this little bar. If you've never used this before, or someone used this before you, it might look like this. And this is a little intimidating. If you pull up the animation bar and it looks like this, just click on the little, uh, looks like a film strip icon in the bottom right hand corner here. Hit that and it'll m simplify it for you so that it looks like this and make your life much easier. So now what we're going to do, you're going to make some more frames. So click on this, it's like the new it dupli duplicate selected frames, you know, like you're making a new layer in Photoshop. So now if we hit play, nothing's going to happen because our images are the same. So what you're going to do is duplicate and then hide. You're going to hide the, the first layer so that you see your second layer. And you're going to keep doing that. Duplicate, hide. Now there's the third. And then just keep doing that. So you're just hiding the layers so that you see what's underneath of it. And that's what's going to make the animation. So just keep doing this. I'm only going to go up to um, 12, so I'm not going to do all 42. And you can see what we're going to get here eventually. Okay, now if we hit play, we're going to have a really boring slideshow of images because our time interval is at 10 seconds, which is a long time for an animated GIF. So what we're going to want to do, and this is a shortcut that I found for myself that is great, you're going to click on the first frame, hold down the shift button, and then click on the last frame, and this allows you to change the time interval on all of them at once. For the image that I, sh my example, I hit no delay, so it was a very fast animation, but I'm just going to click on point two, so you could see. And I'm also going to click, see where it says once? This is your looping option. Click forever, because you don't want your GIF to just stop. You want it to keep repeating. Now if you hit play, you can see you have a looped uh, animation here of the wave. And now we want to add text. 
So click on the first frame, go to your first layer, and then make a new layer. And we're going to just add some text here. Just going to uh, put my name. Okay. Okay. So there we have a text layer. And you could push play now, and the text stays the same, and your image moves, and that's pretty cool. So say you, you decide, oh, I don't want this text layer anymore. You just simply have to hide it. But if you see what happens here, this is the part that get, can get really irritating. I wasn't on the first layer when I hid the text layer, so if I hit play, this will drive you nuts. Trust me. See how the, the text just disappeared on the 11th frame because that's where I hit it. If you want to edit the text, make sure you're on the first frame. If you decide you want to remove the text altogether, make sure you're on the first frame and then remove it. And then it'll take it away from all of the frames. See? If you want to put it back, same deal. But if you wanted to do like an effect, like have your name flash, and you wanted to remove it from every, you know, every two images. I don't know why you would want to do this, but um, so that your name kind of flashes there. You know, you could do that, but I'll just leave it like that. But I just wanted to, to make you aware of if you edit a frame, you know, you think you're removing all the text, you're not. You're just removing it from that frame. If you want to remove it from all of them, select the first frame. So here we have an animation that, you know, say you're done with, okay. GIFs have to be pretty small, so this is way too big. So we're going to go to Im image and then image size. Just make it 72 dpi because it's just for online, I'm assuming. I'm going to make it um, 300 pixels wide because animated GIFs are pretty small. And when you attempt to save this, you'll see that you kind of have to keep... Um, sizing down the image so that it works as a GIF because it won't let you export it if it's really huge. Okay, so now we have our small little GIF here and we want to save it. So go to File and then you're going to click Save for Web and Devices and it's going to bring up this prompt here. Uh, you want to make sure it says GIF here which it probably will by default. Um, try to uh, make sure it says 256 colors. If we do have a problem and it says it's too large, you could scale it down and reduce the amount of colors, the available colors, but you'll see you get this like pixelation here because that's it's reducing that many colors. But I'm going to try to save it as this size right now. Let's see what happens. Just going to name it uh, Sample GIF and hit save and that worked. So now I saved it on my desktop. You want to see what it looks like, right? So here it is. And it'll open it in an internet, um, this just use Internet Explorer, to view it because it needs to be seen online to, for it to move like this. I don't think it'll work if I go to view this in uh, like Windows Media Viewer or something like that. So that's our end result. And it's, it was very simple, very easy to do. Only takes a few minutes. And you could just, you know, do play around with it. Um, I obviously, this one I added more text and shapes and things like that. And the, the time intervals were faster. And this image is larger, but you know, the possibilities are endless for this, but as long as you know the basics on how to make it with the animation frames, it's that easy. And make sure if you wanted to, you know, mess with this again, like save as like a Photoshop file, maybe, and then you can edit it again. So that's how you make an animated GIF, and uh, have fun making moving images. And be sure to subscribe, I'm going to post a lot more of how-to photography, Photoshop, editing videos and tutorials, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer them.